All right, all right, all right, everyone. It's been a while. I know it has. Fuck. I've just been putting off making videos for a while, especially with the whole election and everything going on. I really had to wait until I knew that it was solidified that Donald Trump was in before I could really set time away and, you know, make a video about something other than, you know, politics and shit like that. So figured I, I need to make a few videos. I have quite a few things going on and things that I'm working on right now. But first off, I have a couple different pick uh, companies that have hooked me up recently, let me try some other picks, sent me some other stuff to, to test out and uh, see what I thought. Because I have, I mean, at this point, I have almost every fucking pick known to man. I mean... I, I really do now. I, I finally have my blue chip pick. I have, you know, red bear picks. I've got all sorts of different stuff. And so, um, this, uh, I forget his name. Guy from Hawk Picks. These picks. They are really, really, really incredible picks. He sent me a heavy, which is, that's what this is. It's a, I'd say it's about... 1.5 millimeters and then he sent me an extra heavy too, which I have somewhere I don't know what it. Oh, yeah, here it is. I made some grip for it And it's about two millimeters and these picks are they're, they're made out of casein which if you don't know what casein is um, it, It's basically a derivative of uh the same thing that tortoise shell is made out of, you know, keratin, that keratin protein, and they basically isolate the protein by itself. They don't have to, you know, harvest actual tortoise shell anymore. They can make basically the same exact thing. I mean, when you sand this, when you burn it, it smells exactly the same as as tortoise shell when you burn it or sand it or anything like that. It's it's it is the same thing, but they're able to craft these really nice picks and he's really got got the look down. I mean, he's really got his picks looking just like tortoise shell. I mean, they, he's 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 got it going really good. I mean, they're beautiful picks. I got a nice sharp tip on them. And he's got all sorts of different kinds, of course. But he wanted me to test these out. I mean, I think he 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 he's on my Facebook and things like that, so he was able to go through. By the way, on my Facebook, if anyone wants to see, you know, folder upon folder upon folder of amazing like vintage picks and just all sorts of cool picks throughout history and stuff, I've been cataloging every fucking pick I can find, every interesting pick I can find, not just your you know regular old run of the mill picks. I mean. It's all sorts of like signature picks and custom picks and, you know, vintage ones that you can't find anymore or are very rare nowadays. That's also another video I'll be making is I've got a lot of vintage picks I need to show on video because I've got quite a collection now that I'm very stoked with. But these Hawk picks, I mean, they are up on par with Red Bear and Blue Chip in my opinion. I mean, I know Red Bear is case and basically it's the same material, so, but I don't know. I tend to, I tend to favor good people over like a brand name that I know more. And I, I, I found this guy through just searching through Google and stuff for pictures of custom picks and things like that. And I came across these and I was like, wow, those are cool looking picks. Ended up adding him, sat there and talked to him for a while, and he ended up offering to send me some picks. And uh, I was like, whoa, shit. Because these are high-end picks. I mean, they're not, they're not like, you know, just a couple cent picks. You know, they're, they're like, pretty expensive. Just like any Red Bear or Blue Chip, you know. Blue Chip picks, I mean, for this pick, I just spent 35 fucking dollars on this, but this is pretty cool. Check this out. I got my, <laughs> my fucking, my uh, YouTube tag engraved on it. 
I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but I, I really, I really do like these picks, and I, I do recommend them for anyone that's looking for a, a you know, a higher end pick. They sound just. They got that kind of clicky, bright sort of. amazing picks and the way they the way they wear and the way they they kind of glide off the string they they're just butter it's beautiful and you can have them custom made you can have you know certain bevels and stuff on them this this one's pretty basic it's just rounded you know rounded beveled edge i mean it's not like you know a specific bevel like this one which i honestly kind of like them when they're not pre-beveled it, you know, it's cool. It's a different sort of thing. I mean, that's why I got the blue chip pick different because I have these hawk picks it's, that I like to work with different things. But you know, I am a pick collector, so I had to get a blue chip. I just need. I had to know what they're all about, and they are great picks. Don't get me wrong, but I find it kind of funny that um, you go from like uh, the blue chip, you know, TD thirty, forty, fifty. 60 and they're $35 then when you go to the 70 it's $50 and then when you go to the TD 80 and these are just up upping in gauges so this this TD 60 is about 1.5 maybe 1.2 millimeters and you go up to the 80 and you, all of a sudden you jump to $75 it's like, what the fuck? $75 fucking dollars for a pick? I don't think so. I mean, I had to, I, I, a piece of my heart literally felt like it just cracked off of me. My, a piece of my soul just left me when I spent $35 fucking dollars on a pick. But I had, to, to be perfectly honest, I had waited, I've been waiting now for almost three years now since I've started pick collecting and shit. I've waited that long to finally get one, so. I think I was justified in doing it. Plus, I had to go all out and get my, you know, my tag on there and stuff. <laughs> Which I thought was awesome. But, again, talking about these Hawk picks, I, I mean, I, I, I suggest anyone that likes, you know, playing acoustic guitar, likes bluegrass playing, and, you know, you just want a brighter, kind of more rich sound to your acoustic. I mean, that... You can play electric with these and stuff, and, you know, they work great. They're just, they're amazing picks, and plus they don't wear as quickly as, you know, your garden variety, run-of-the-mill picks. You know, even like Delrin and, you know, Tortex and stuff, those are pretty durable picks, but these, they last ten times as long. They're worth the money. A lot of people would think, oh, you know, ten bucks on a pick, fifteen bucks on a pick, you know, stuff like that. Oh, that's not worth it. It really is, honestly, because when you actually get to play with them, you you actually understand why they are so sought after with, you know, real players, real bluegrass players and real acoustic players that really like a deep but bright. I love that kind of clicky sort of, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's got this nice chimey kind of sound to it, especially when you really dig in. So... Got these picks. Again, they're casein picks. And then uh, had another another buddy from a pick manufacturer that I've been looking at for years and I've always wanted to try and uh, just never was able to run across them is Swiss Picks. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> he's a great dude. He's, a, he's an awesome dude, too. Uh, just like the Hawk Picks guy, he, you know, we got to bullshitting and stuff on Facebook, and, um, I mean, he didn't send me free picks, I did buy some, but we had a bit, we had a bit of a mix-up, I ended up making an order, and, uh, the, they got lost in the mail, somehow, I mean, they just never showed up, so we were like, what the fuck, man, 
So he refunded me and stuff, and I was like, well, you didn't have to refund it. I mean, that's all good. You know, I would have <laughs> I would have just said, screw it. And so I made another order, and he kind of gave me a little kind of custom bundle of everything that he had, even some picks that he hasn't really released commercially yet. So Swiss picks, um, this would be kind of the general model, and they're called Swiss picks because... They look like Swiss cheese, obviously. And, you know, they're kind of, these holes are, have these kind of raised edges. I've obviously, with me, you know, because I'm so anal about, you know, grip on picks, I, I had to, not with all of them, if he's watching this video, I didn't do it with all of them. I just did it with one out of each style. But, um,. You know, they, they have these raised sort of grip things, which would be perfect grip for most people. And to be honest, I have been playing with some of the ones that I haven't put grips on, like made extra grip on. And they, they do work. But like for me, because of, you know, my style of playing, I playing metal and stuff like that, when I'm doing the, you know, all the triplet type stuff, I need to have like ultimate control on on basically it's mostly on the pivot point of this index finger right here is where most of the grip needs to be for my picks so I always have to bring the grip down because that's how I hold the pick and this this index finger is really where mm. all of the control comes from my picking hand so Unlike most people where it's usually their thumb, it's mostly my index finger that's taken most of the the grip. So he's got the regular style. These are Delrin, not Tortex, it's regular Delrin. And um the only the only thing I have to say about that is, you know, I'm not a huge fan of regular Delrin just because it's it's kind of a slippery material. Um you know, it, it it does have the grip and stuff, which makes it better. But me personally, I like his other picks that he's making now. He's got these sharp ones, which, I mean, that's killer. And they look badass. They're green. Fucking awesome green looking color. And uh, he makes these ones out of polycarbonate. Which, the, the, they, they're, they're, it's still a smooth, textured, you know, sort of material. But it... It has more of a kind of a sticky sort of surface than the the regular Delrin does. So I've taken quite a liking to these this pick. Um, and then he's got the Jazz picks, which are basically the same pick but scaled down quite a bit. And they're sharp. Um, they This is a Rusty Cooley signature, basically. Uh, Rusty Cooley, if anyone doesn't know who that is, he's a fucking shred monster. He's an absolute beast of a human being on guitar. And if you've never checked him out, I, I suggest you do, because he's fucking ridiculous. He, he makes you hate your life. You watch him and you're like, fuck, I, why, do you, why do I even play? Like, <laughs> this is just bullshit. <laughs> but, yeah, he's got, he's, he's, you know, endorsed, or, you know, signed up with uh, Swiss picks, and that was kind of one of the ways I heard about them. I actually first saw them from this random video that I had watched years and years ago, this Chinese guy playing this Super Mario fucking shit on guitar, and I noticed in his hand, I mean, it, you had to be eagle-eyed to see it, but I noticed his pick looked like Swiss cheese, and I was like, what the fuck, what kind of pick is that? And it wasn't until years later that I found out that what Swiss picks were. I didn't, because did. that was the thing I told him. I was like, I mean, I never see your advertising or anything for those picks. It's weird. It's kind of like my buddy from Piglet Picks. It's like, it took me a long time to actually f figure out that those picks existed because I never saw really any advertising or anything like that. But they're really awesome picks. And once again, I suggest anyone go and check them out they're they're kind of a novelty too i mean even if you even if you're not really set on you know oh i love these picks they're cool to have because just because they're fucking awesome you know <laughs> i like funky picks like this i just think it's cool 
And uh, so he's a really good guy. And uh, I mean, they're solid picks. They're great picks. The only difference between uh, the the big ones and the jazz picks are that these the holes they don't have raised edges like the like the big ones do, which I thought was kind of weird. I mean, they they there's somewhat of a raised edge, but it's not as prominent as the big ones. So, I mean, that would be one of the only things I would change. He also gave me some glow in the dark ones. Um, I mean, I, I I'm not gonna bust those out right now. I I don't. I mean, he has he has them advertising and stuff, but he hasn't really released them or anything yet commercially. So, I don't really want to like, you know, be like, oh yeah, you can get these right now, you know. But depending on when you're watching this, whatever. <laughs> but so. In, in summation of this part of the video, Hawk Picks and Swiss Picks, everyone check them out. I'll leave some links in the description and stuff. You can, guys can go and check them out and look at the different kinds of picks they offer and prices and things like that. And, you know, contact them and you can also bullshit with them and, you know, ask them what they, what, what you could get and what different things you could do if you could customize picks and things like that. I'm sure they'll they'll answer back promptly. They did with me, so. But, on another note, um, me, myself, I am making, I've started manufacturing some of my own high-end picks like this, and they're also made out of the same material, casein, and it's vintage casein. It's really, really, it's a really, really nice material, and I, they're, they're uh, obviously, handmade. Where the fuck did I put that? Oh, here it is. So, I just started making these and uh, as you can see, they're, they're made out of these uh, these vintage casein buttons. And uh, like I said, the material is fucking durable as hell and uh, the more you play with it, it, it like polishes off Sort of like, uh, like if you've ever looked up uh, chicken picks and things like that. You know, how he advertises, the more you play, the more it like slickens and it kind of lubricates itself over the strings. Casein does the same thing. It's a very high quality material. Um, more and more pick manufacturers are starting to try to make picks out of casein. Uh, Fender has just has just released their own, which is called uh, True Tone Picks, Fender True Tone. Um, Clayton has has made their own for a while. It's this pick, the New Tone. And I've had that pick for a long time. This was the first, like, casein pick I had gotten. And, uh, yeah, so this is just, like, the first style. This is... This is the basic style. Um, I'm just keeping the, the, the dimple right here. The back is is flat. And, uh, you know, I'm going to experiment with some different grip styles and things like that. And, you know, I have a whole, a whole bottle full of these. And, you know, I got it like 20, 23 more so i'm gonna over time i'm gonna, just gonna keep manufacturing those and i might put them up on ebay or you know i might sell them through my facebook or something like that but if anyone's interested in getting a really high quality pick that they they will be fairly thick uh this would be about maybe two millimeters two and a half millimeters very thick but it they give that sort of that that bright chimey sort of tone They, they sound fucking amazing, 
and uh like i said the material is very high quality i don't i'm not exactly sure like what price i'm going to be setting them at i'm definitely going to try to make them cheaper than a lot of the you know proprietary brands and things like that 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 are out there cuz it's going to be a very limited run i mean i only have that many of those you know if i could find more buttons that are you know nice and flat like that and nice and thick i you know i try to make more but these will be a limited thing they're all completely handmade i mean i sit here and gruelingly sit here and fucking bust it all out with sandpaper and you know <laughs> just by hand just sitting and doing it so they are very much handmade <laughs> in very literal sense and uh yeah i i i had s someone comment on one of my pick videos the other day saying you know i i i play with a an adamus two millimeter pick do you have anything that you know would be better that you could recommend i i'd recommend trying something like this or hawk picks um like i said for the swiss picks those are more of your kind of i i look at those more as uh, you're like your everyday use sort of type of guitar pick these are kind of your like boutique sort of like special guitar picks i i i i look at these more as like acoustic picks when I'm playing electric, I mean, I'm always going to my fucking, you know, Tortex point eight eight. I mean, that's that's my standby, that's my basic like run of the mill. That's what I generally play with guitar. That's why I have a fucking ass load of them. I mean, <laughs> I have too many to even count. I mean, these. Two whole things right here are .88 Tortex, and then I've got the Oltex right here, which are basically the same gauge. But it's always fun to have different picks to sit there and fuck around with and play with, and uh, especially with acoustic guitar, these these kind of thicker picks, the way they kind of create this chime with the guitar. Oh shit! Before I forget. I also have these, which is real mother of pearl, um, big old fucking giant buttons that I will, I'm going to try to make them into picks. When I, when I ordered these, uh, the way they were set up in the picture, it made them look like they were more flat than they are. You could see they're kind of domed a little bit. And some of them are even more so than others. You can see that one's kind of, but... I'm sure I can fuck with stuff and figure out a way to get them, you know, so, somewhat flat. I mean, I do it with the coconut shell picks. That's also another kind of pick that I'm going to be making, too, again. These are coconut shell picks that I made before. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting back to making my own sort of boutique picks like that. And then, I mean... When it comes to my, you know, my actual picks, you know, that I designed and I have someone else making for me, I, I mean, I still haven't heard back on that. Uh, you know, I, I told him, you know, whenever you're able to get to it, because I'm not, he, I'm not paying him to do it. He's doing it, you know, as a, as a favor to me. So I don't want to be like, dude, get on it. You know what I mean? So in the meantime, I'll be doing this kind of shit, you know making some boutique picks and stuff, but stay tuned to my videos. Uh, check out the different companies that I've listed here and uh, keep rocking the fuck on. Peace.